G'day guys, Mr. Bennett here again. Um, today I'm just going to go through a couple of questions from number six. And these ones here, they give you the answer and, ex and, and expect you to show that this is the uh, that particular answer there. Alright, so if we were looking at, say, number... Well, let's do B. Alright, so B uh, for the first one. Alright, so I'm not going to write the question, I'm just going to get straight into it. I've got to square that out. So what that means is I'm going to get um, simply 2 sine theta plus 3 cosine theta times by 2 sine theta plus 3 cosine theta. Now, if you can do this without actually having to show all the key steps. Now, obviously, without having to write this out again, 3 sine theta take, sorry, uh, 3 sine theta take, take 2 cosine theta. If I could just do that as squared and then go to the answer, then that will just save me some time. Okay, so if I'm thinking about what I'm doing here, I'm going to times my first two terms together. So that's going to give me 4 sine squared theta. My inside term, outside term are going to be the same thing. So that's, that's going to be simply um, 6 cosine theta sine theta plus 6 cosine theta sine theta. And then the last term is going to be plus 9 cosine squared theta. Alright, so that's that's this particular term here that I've just fallen out into this bit here. Alright, I'm going to do the next bit without actually having to expand that. And it's going to be essentially the same thing. So my answer is going to be, and I'll just do it here because space is important. So that's going to give me sine theta times by sine three theta, which is 3 sine theta times 3 sine theta will be 9 sine squared theta. My inside terms are going to be take 6 cos theta sine theta, take 6 cos theta sine theta. Now I could, if I recognise that, as go 2 lots of that, so that will give me minus 12, and rather than do the 2 lots there. And then the last term is going to be minus 2 cos theta times minus 2, which would be plus 4 cos squared theta. Now, can you see here that that yellow, the green bit, provides this term here? All right. Now, if I'm a bit more confident with it, I can go get rid of the two middle terms straight away and, and recognise them as being plus 12 cos theta sine theta. Take 12 cos theta sine theta. So these things here are going to cancel out. And what that will leave me when I'm actually going to write the next bit, I've got... 4 sine squared theta plus 9 sine squared theta is going to give me 13 sine squared theta. I'm going to have 9 cos theta plus 4 cos theta is going to give me plus 13 cos squared theta. And the last bit, I'll have to take out the common factor of 13 sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. If we see that one coming up all the time, we recognise that as being 1. So therefore that's equal to 13 times by 1 which is equal to 13. And so therefore I've actually simplified that and shown that particular thing is the case. Now, something that may be just slightly more difficult is something like um, maybe F. I'll just find the equations. Something like F or E or something like that. Okay, so... With that particular type of question, actually we might do D, right? We'll do D. So what we've got here is we've got, uh, no, actually we'll do we'll do E, right? So we've got sine theta over one plus cosine theta, right? So what have I done there? So sine theta over one plus cosine. Theta. So let's do E. So we've got, oh, let's escape. So 
So we've got one. Oh, golly gosh. And go back. So we've got one uh, plus cos theta all over sine theta. And what we're doing with that is we're going, I've put it around the wrong way. Alright, so it's that, and then it's plus all over 1 plus cos theta. Alright, so I've, I've sort of written it the wrong way around, but you get the idea. Now, what I need to do is cross multiply here. So when I'm doing that, on the top line I'm going to get simply 1 plus cos theta times by 1 plus cos theta. Because the bottom line is in fact going to be sine theta 1 plus cos theta. Okay, and then on this other side I'm going to have plus sine theta times by sine theta. Okay, so the top line, if I expand that out, it's going to give me 1 squared, this one. I'm going to have cos theta cos theta, so that's going to be plus 2 cosine theta, and the last term is going to be plus cos squared theta. The last term is going to be plus sine squared theta, which we can recognise as 1. And then the bottom line here, now we should always track where we're going with this. So I'll have to show that's equal to 2 over sine theta, don't I? Alright, so that's what I'll need to do. We'll keep that as sine theta 1 plus cosine theta there. Alright, so I know that this part of the curve there is actually equal to 1. Alright? So therefore that's going to be equal to 2 plus 2 cos theta all over sine theta 1 plus cos theta. Now I can see a common factor, can't I? Okay, I'm expecting, it's a bit of a no-brainer, I'm expecting to better cancel that out. So if I bring out a common factor of 2, that leaves me with 1 plus cos theta all over sine theta 1 plus cos theta. Cancel, cancel. And that leaves me my, my final thing over here, which is equal to 2 over sine theta. Alright, so that's an example of doing one of those, uh, where you're cross-multiplying. So in these questions, you've got to choose what you need to do. Um, so I'll just give you a bit of a hint. So these ones here, you've got to expand out and factorise. Expand and factorise. That one's the same. Over here, you've got to expand and uh, using foil. Again, the same thing over here, you're going to just foil that out. The bottom two terms here, you're going to put over a lowest common denominator. And then you're going to simplify the top line, the bottom line. And I think you'll find that they come out pretty easy. Anyway, have a go at them. If you need some help, make sure you ask.